Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how does Secure Cloud Access uh, onboarding looks like for Microsoft Azure AD. So as a first step, once you log in into the Secure Cloud Access or CyberArk ISPS portal, click on onboard your cloud workspace. So that's where you will see CM dashboard is gonna open up and that's how we will kickstart the onboarding. So I'll click on the platform management. Under the platform management, we will click on add a new directory. So once you click on add, so there are like few parameters we have to fill up. So let's gather the directory ID, tenant ID information. So I've logged into my Azure AD account. As a global administrator, I'm going to grab my tenant ID. So here I'm gonna key in my tenant ID after that. So I'm just gonna name it as a SC Azure zero standing access. So for this demo, we will be connecting to the entire directory. And then uh, we have already logged in into the Azure portal and let's open the Azure shell, cloud shell. So, so here in the, here it is going to describe like how, how to, uh, how to access a Azure cloud shell. But in my case, what I'll do, I'll simply go to my default directory, click on the CLI button. So that's where it will take a couple of seconds to open up the cloud shell. So let's wait for a couple of seconds. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to navigate at your CLI. Yeah, so now it looks better. Let me clear it. So we'll go to the CM dashboard again. So it is asking us to download the uh, scripts. I'm just gonna copy and paste. I'm gonna enter. So here you are, you can see there are a couple of uh, scripts has been downloaded. So I'm just gonna clear it again. And then let's, let's see what does the next step looks like. So now it is asking us to deploy an application. So I'm going to deploy an application. So what I'll do, because I have been trying to deploy it multiple times. So I'm going to change the name as app demo. For my SCA Azure AD, SCA resource app and my CM resource app. So let's click enter. So we can see it has started creating the CM resources. It is creating CM application now. This is my application ID. It is going to create a application credential. And then now it is assigning the CM custom role to the management group. As the next step, it has started creating SCA resources. So it has created a custom role. So now it is trying to create a application. This is my SCA Azure application ID. So it has assigned the SCA role to the management group for the for the SCA application ID. Now it has started creating a SCA Azure AD role. It has created a SCA application ID. And then it has assigned that application to the role. So what it is going to give you, it is going to give you two different values. 
CM final value and the SCA final value. So I'll go to my CM. So we'll copy and paste the CM value ID and then we are going to copy and paste the SCA final value. So once we do that, so then it is asking us to perform a couple of steps. The first step is grant the admin per permissions to CM Azure Resource App. So you have to simply click on this button. So it is going to have a permissions to, to read the audit log information, directory data, directory RPAC settings, and a couple of other information. I'm going to simply accept it. So that's on the CM side. So now we are going on to the CM, SCA, Azure Active Directory app. So I'm gonna click on the accept button again. So here it is asking us to provide a couple of permissions around the directory RBAC setting, read and write application, read and write directory data, and sign in and read user profile. I'm gonna accept it. So the last step is grant the admin permission to SCA Azure Resources app. So here also, so here, if you see, it is looking for all these different uh, permissions. So I'm gonna click accept. So everything looks to be okay. So as a next step, I'll click on start discovery. So discovery takes a couple of minutes. In the meanwhile, what we will do, we will go to the tenant root group and we will look into some of the key information, what happened behind the scenes. So now we are at the Azure management group. So here we see there are three, uh, there are three custom roles has been created. So let me refresh. So the first role is Cybrax CM application role. The second one is SCA Azure AD role. And the third one is SCA resource role. And these roles has been assigned to the application created at the Azure AD level, Cyber CM app demo, then Cyber SCA app AD app demo and the Cyber SCA resource app demo. So if you go to the Azure AD side, app registrations, so you will be able to see all these applications as well. So I'll click on SCA. So here you are able to see two different applications, for one for Azure AD, other one is for Azure resource groups, and the, another one is for CM as well. So you can click on any of the applications and then if you click on the API permission, these are the permissions granted for this specific application. So we'll go back to the Azure AD and let's refresh. So here we see the Azure AD um, uh, directory has been discovered. So what I'll do, I'll simply click on a connect button. So now it is connected. It will take a couple of seconds uh, for CM to start scanning all the different Azure AD roles, Azure roles, and so on. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching this short video on how you can do the onboarding of Azure directory to SCA and CM.